is crazy. It's like we're here and it's real, but I still can't believe it. Yeah. Just being a I top know. three couple out of so many couples that are just crazy experience. It yeah. makes you want to win even more. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, how, how are you guys? guys? Are you feeling good? Yeah. Did you feel a little more real? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, it is. We still have a ton more planning to do. So we're going to head inside right away. We're going to put the grooms on the spot one more time, but it's a little more of a fun activity. So I want to get started right away. Why don't you guys come inside with me, all right? right? Okay. Sounds good. You'll notice we have a new guest with us today. This Hi. is Christina Steinbrenner. She's with Joseph A. Bank. She's the director of Tuxedo Marketing. So we're going to talk all about tuxedos. There are four different tuxedo options that America will get to vote on. So I think you guys are ready. Let's get the men in some tuxedos and the ladies can enjoy a little fashion show. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's just as important, you know, weight looking good as me looking good. All right, ladies, <laughs> while we wait for your handsome groups, Thank we're you. going to have a little bubbly. Ooh. Let's make a toast to yeah. tuxedos from Just Bay Bay. Sit on a couch, drink mimosas with some girls, chat, see your men in tuxes. It's really fun. All right, guys, we're ready for look number one. Ooh. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Very handsome. Oh, yeah, it's always kind of a cool feeling when you slide the tux on and you look at the finished product and kind of all dappering together. You guys look terrific. What do you think? They look great. Yeah. yeah. So this is our 411 Slim Fit Tuxedo. You can see it's just a slimmer cut than a traditional black tuxedo. One thing that's really great about this tuxedo is it has these angled pockets on the side. Um, very modern touch to it. And what we've done is we've paired it with the ice blue herringbone accessories for that pop of color. I kind of felt like, gosh, I think I'm kind of getting choked up a little bit. All right, guys, we're ready for look number two. Ooh, snazzy once again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on down. Oh, yeah. I like oh, this I one. love it. <laughs> Hearing a lot of oohs and ahs on this nice. one. Gray has always been Wade's color, so when he came out looking all good, he's like, See? And I'm like, yeah, you look good. All right, all right. All right, how do you guys feel in this? Good. Do you feel it feels, good? It feels good. Yeah, yeah. 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 ladies, what do you think? Yeah. I never really pictured the gray, and I, it looks so good. This is actually our medium gray Aspen tuxedo. Um, gray is the hottest trend in wedding tuxedos right now. We actually carry four different shades of gray, and this is one of the medium. Last year, we could not keep gray in stock, so clearly gray is the new black. Ray is the new flag. <laughs> All right, I agree. Best thing about tuxedos is how easy it is to loosen or tighten your pants. Yeah. You don't have to worry about the cookies I ate last night. <laughs> ready to, ready to. Every time I thought, okay, this is the one I like, he'd come out with another one. I'm like, nope, this is it. Ooh, different look this time. Oh. Very nice. You guys look great. I'm surprised how much I like this. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is our Havana tan tuxedo. And you can see it's a three piece look with the matching vest, and we complemented it with a wine tie. And it really has the look of like a three piece suit, but still, you feel like a million bucks in a tuxedo. <laughs> Should we check out look number four? Last it. and let's final look that America will get to vote on? Oh, okay, perfect. let's do it. Go right. get changed. Put on your final look. And I don't know how y'all feel, but I'm, I'm definitely kind of leaning towards the gray one. I've always envisioned wearing like a nice gray tux, walking down the aisle. I think for an outdoor wedding and you're gonna be by the water, I like actually like the tan, because you're gonna be staying outside with the sun, you don't want to be in a black tux. You oh, probably want to be in a in a lighter color. All right, I think we're ready for look number four, the final look, should we check it out? Yeah. You guys ready? Ooh, wow, oh, this is a sharp yeah. look. You guys look great. It feels a little more formal, this look. Yeah. You guys probably feel a little more formal. Ladies, how do you feel about it? I love the bow tie. This is our Manhattan Slim Fit Tuxedo. This is our highest end tuxedo that we offer. It's a really tightly woven fabric and it's gonna be much cooler and more comfortable to wear. So if you're having an outdoor wedding or getting married in the summer, they're just gonna feel more comfortable and feel better wearing it. And Joseph A. Bank has hundreds of colors to choose from, Oh my gosh. Correct? Yes, obviously this is just one option, but we right. have 385 tie styles and 175 vests. 385, vest. wow. wow. So that's literally thousands of color combinations. Yeah. So thank you so much again, Christina, for, for being here. You, you guys look Thank fantastic. you to our male models. Can we give them a round <laughs> yes. of applause, Good please? Job. Woo! <laughs> So guys, we saw you in all of your different tuxedos earlier today, and that is one of the voting categories that America will have. They're also voting on your honeymoon. So we're gonna have a little girl gossip time to talk about travel. While that's going on, we're gonna let the guys cook. Get creative, make whatever you want. All right. 
Let's see what we got. Let's start it in here. All right. Shall we toast to the guys cooking? See what yeah. they come up with? Yeah. Okay. Cheers to the guys yeah. cooking. Yeah. Why can't they leave the wine some wine for us? That's kind of, kind of... You guys normally take over the yes. kitchen. Is that what I heard yeah. you say earlier? Okay. He's usually my sous chef. Your sushi, yeah. <laughs> I like that. That's actually good. That's great. Well, uh, can we preheat the oven to like 405? Yeah. That would be. Get that. You get that. The bad thing is our moms are going to see this and they're going to wonder why all those years we lived at home, they didn't. We didn't help <laughs> chop. So I want to talk about travel a little bit because everyone, America gets to vote on your honeymoon destination. So I just want to feel out if you guys have any dream vacation spots you want to go to or anything that you've always envisioned going to for your honeymoon. I would love to go to Bora Bora. Portia, do you have any dream honeymoon spot you want to go to? Well, I can't say I have a specific place I want to go. I just feel somewhere in the Caribbean, warm. Okay. So yeah. relaxing? Relaxing during the day, party at night. Party at <laughs> night. I love it. Because all the stress will be over. Yes. I just want to relax. Yes. I'll be a wife. Yes. <laughs> Sounds good, right? Yes. What about you, Lynn? Any dream spot? I, my dream would be one of those little huts over the water. Like to oh, stay in one okay. of those. What would you like for a honeymoon? Uh, uh, you know what? Somewhere tropical and warm. Tropical, tropical and warm, warm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, those, those chickens are That's looking good chicken. over that there. That chicken looks awesome. <laughs> Uh, I'm cooking the greatest batch of chicken you'll ever see. Got it on the stove, some nice chicken breast, some seasonings on there that I will not disclose because yes, it is a secret recipe, but it'll be phenomenal to say the least. <laughs> I think they probably made it. All right, ladies, are you guys ready? Wow. Here we go. All right. Yeah. Portia, come have a seat with me by the fireplace. Oh my gosh, yeah. that was amazing. Has your initials on it? And oh, everything? has my new initial my new initials. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, nice. It looks delicious, you guys. You should take a bite. So you guys did an awesome did job. Yeah. Can you do this are again at home? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching episode two of Brian's Live Million Dollar Wedding. We're here again with Brian's editor-in-chief, Kia Miner, and she's going to give us some tips today on writing your own vows because this is something a lot of couples want to do, but it's really intimidating to start. It absolutely is. Writing your vows can really be the hardest part of the whole wedding planning process. Everybody struggles with it, but we have a few tricks. Okay. First, think of three words that really represent your fiance. Maybe he's really smart and funny and caring. Start there just as a starting point to get sort of the creative juices flowing. When is it okay to use humor? I think there is always a place for humor. Okay. Laughter makes everybody relax. So if you're nervous and you have a moment where you introduce humor and you're sort of laughing along with your friends and family, you will instantly relax. I know a lot of times people quote poetry during their vows, but what about song lyrics? I love the idea of using song lyrics. Okay. If you have a special song, that's a great opportunity to work in some lyrics. You know, not everyone feels comfortable quoting Shakespeare, <laughs> right. no. but you may feel comfortable, you know, quoting your favorite ballad or a song that just really means a lot to you. All right, thanks, Kia, and thanks so much for watching at home this latest episode of Brian's Live Million Dollar Wedding. Make sure to head to brines.com to vote for your favorite honeymoon destination and your favorite tuxedo. Our grooms have got to look handsome, right? We'll see you here next time.